The UN's World Food Program says it will run out of food and fuel within days if more aid doesn't come soon. Video shows some warehouses in Rafa practically empty, where nearby fighting is preventing the delivery of aid and fuel. Rafa is critical for humanitarian aid operations. Most international aid organizations operate out of the city, and most of the supplies enter through Rafa. UNICEF warns this could lead to more Gazans dying of hunger. A spokesperson said for five days, no fuel and virtually no humanitarian aid entered the Gaza Strip, and we are scraping the bottom of the barrel. Hospitals warned buildings and ambulances are critically low on fuel. In response, Israel's defense ministry announced 200,000 liters of fuel were delivered to Gaza for international organizations Friday. The fuel will be used for generators for hospitals, logistical centers, and trucks delivering aid. Fuel has been hard to come by since Israel captured the Gaza side of the Rafah crossing with Egypt, the main point of entry for fuel and supply delivery. Fighting between Israeli troops and Palestinian militants on the outskirts of Rafah left the crossing inaccessible for aid deliveries and medical evacuations. The UN said some supplies were already gone from the destruction of warehouses and looting. Israel has repeatedly accused Hamas of stealing aid meant for the people of Gaza since the war began. Last week, the terror group reportedly hijacked an aid shipment from Jordan. The U.S. State Department said it was the first widespread case of hijacking seen in Gaza, adding that the goods were recovered when Hamas finally let the aid trucks move on. Pro-Israel protesters have also attempted to block aid shipments to Gaza, claiming the aid is going to Hamas. The government of Israel in the international, uh, international support want to, to give a lot of supply to the murderers to keep them uh, fighting. It's like it's, there is no other place in the world that the, the one side, that one side, um, and give the supply to other sides. It's like, it's, it's crazy, it's nuts. The UN says nearby battles have caused more than 100,000 people to flee parts of Rafah. The agency says it has no tents, blankets, or bedding for those leaving. As Straight Arrow News previously reported, more aid is on the way from a ship bound for a new U.S. belt pier in Gaza. For that report and more stories on the war in Gaza, download the Straight Arrow News app or visit our website at san.com.